Okay. Essa é que é fala metal. Ok. Então, Essa é que é fala metal. To me, music is, you know, life. I cannot see my life going without music daily. Every day I'm listening to music, making music, composing. I mean, music can bring people from different backgrounds together and just, you know, unite that. Unite us, we're all in one room. We've got one goal and that is to bring music to people's life, bring harmony together, you know? We all need that in our lives, we need more harmony. We need to live in unity. I first saw Timothy at Glenn Robertson's um, Kaleidoscope Cafe. That's where I saw him a few times and I always said this boy has a unique sound, a unique tone. He used to play with that nylon semi-acoustic guitar and, and so for me to work on this album with him a few years later is really such an honor and a blessing for me to now work with this youngster that has endless possibilities. It's just been such an awesome journey with him, growing musically like the bond that we have. Um, especially in studio, we just look at each other and we start laughing, so... <laughs> Timothy's music is um, it's amazing. It's been amazing to actually understand what he's trying to say, not verbally, but as, as into the music. These are all such great musicians, so the music is really like flowing and it's finding its voice in the space quite easily. It's, I always enjoy seeing how artists mold their music because it's always a struggle getting um, the idea that's in your head out um, to other people and to try and get that across. Um, and especially when there's other musicians playing your music. Um, and I think, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna come across really well. When you release an album, you're kind of just telling a story, you're making a statement and you're putting it out there for the world to see and it, and it, it just exists throughout. It's like reading a book, you know, going on that journey um, and being able to go on that journey again and again and again. A lot of the music came about, you know, life experiences, challenges. And if I think back to lockdown, to be honest about it, I had mentally I had been challenged, you know. I had not been honest about it, I kept it to myself. I just continued, you know, persevering and pushing through that. Not allowing that to get me down. So I allowed my situation at those at that time to actually, you know, to push me to get my music out. To write about the challenges, what I was feeling at that time. I remember taking a walk, you know, melody would strike inward. And I remember oh, that I went home, I was away from the guitar, I'd come back. You know, oh. it would still be with me. Musically, like, he, he's really interesting and um, playful, um, but he's also serious. He can kind of channel different types of energies. Some of his personality also comes out in his playing, you know. Someone who's really passionate and someone who's really, um, who really has a deep love for what he's doing and just wants to translate himself. Um, and it comes through in this album, you hear like what he has to say, he says it and he says it well. Timothy is a special boy. He is 21 years old and he, his musical knowledge and his feel, most importantly, his feel is generational. He is going to be something special to the South African music scene. He's so mature in his craft. Um, it's rare to see such a young person knowing such a lot of older music. Because um, when we when we did gigs, he'd always call such like songs from the 80s and stuff, and he'd know all the solos. And so it, it was always great listening to him play and grow so steady in his music and in his craft. <laughs> 
um, and his compositions are, you can hear the influence from Earl Clue, Peter White, and it's, it's, so, it's so, so beautiful. My personal influences have got to be smooth jazz players, contemporary jazz, guitarists like George Benson, Earl Clue, your acoustic guitar players, Peter White, um, and then of course I've branched out listening to the more modern guitar players, um, Chuck Loeb, Lee Tanawa, Four Play, Julian Lodge, some beautiful guitar players. That's all like sort of these icons with Timothy's um, own sound added to that, that makes it uh, a unique, amazing sound. Also speaks a lot about Africa and um, our country and what we believe in. That's so unique for me, for a youngster as himself to combine those elements and those styles of the different types of musicians and blend it with his own sound. And I love the style and the genre and the complement of musicians who have come together and make this song special. The play between the, the tracks and how they feed off each other and how they move throughout the album is very important. The music definitely has the right vibe, that Cape Town energy, this African jazz sound. My music is an honest expression of what I'm feeling inside. It's the music inside of me. Uh, I'm not wanting to be a copy of anyone, a replica of anyone. This is me. I'm proud of where I come from, um, the son of the soil, you know, from the Cape Flats. Um, and this is a true reflection of who I am and my experiences and my life challenges and everything that I've been through for the last 10 years from the time I've picked up the guitar. As musicians in, in this time and with COVID, we've really been hit hard in terms of being able to perform, being able to come together and, and work on music like this. I think everyone's really hungry to play, to work on ideas, to, to give. Um, we've been like sitting on a, on a stockpile of creativity, I think, for a while. Being involved in this project, especially during this time, um, it's just, yeah, there's just one word on my mind and that's gratitude. COVID has affected everyone, I would say, in some way, emotionally, mentally, financially. And in terms of the music industry, I can honestly say, you know, it's been the hardest hit industry. But lockdown allowed me time to think, reflect and do a bit of introspection on where I'm at currently. I had to sort of regain new energy and not lose hope. I had to keep going and that's what I did. I had to persevere during this time and that is how the studio came about. This is at the back of my grandparents' place. They've been living here oh, for as long as I can imagine, before I've been born. Uh, my parents have been raised here. I was a toddler here. Even my siblings, brothers, they've all come out of this, what used to be a crash. Tell me what, forever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy for Timothy to have built this space for musicians to come together. And it's like in Mannenberg as well, so it's, it's rare to see such a space in, in such a space, if I can put it like that. It was nothing that I imagined actually to be. And coming here, seeing everything kind of set up the way a studio should be, was amazing for me. When Timothy told me that he was going to record at his house, I wasn't sure what to expect. Was it going to be in his room or what was set up? And then we got here and then he has this whole set up in the back of his yard with two special rooms, one for mixing and one for the band to record in. And I was really, really amazed and could see the potential that can come from a studio such as this. And can, I saw on his board actually, he has a whole plan of how he's going to plan the album, the budgets and who he wants to get in and that shows me that this young man has vision, he knows where he wants to go and he has good influences or management that is supporting him. Timmy is willing to do whatever he needs to do to achieve his goals. And we actually broke down everything. It was just a bare open space. Timothy had everything in his mind, he had visualized everything already. So it wasn't a thing of how are we going to do this, it was just let's get the people in to do it.
The purpose behind the studio is not just for Timothy, it's about giving back to the community where Timothy comes from and surrounding communities. It's about getting the youth who's involved in music into the environment. That is what we're here for. I've had my fair share of challenges and I know what it's like to lack the necessary resources, equipment, not, not have the right guidance, the proper guidance to stay in the right direction. And if we granted that, I will always say we all need that. We all need, yeah, we need hope. This is just a new music um, artist born to inspire the youth. He works hard and worked hard to get to where he's at. And I'm very proud um, to, to know him. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that inspires me as well. For me to be able to produce an album and get an album out to the age of 21. Um, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, but I cannot explain what it means to me and what I'm feeling inside. Yeah. Nah, you must just listen, buy the album as a belief and give it a listen. Tell me if he's a great musician. There's some brilliant musicians on the album as well, so hope you guys have fun. Thank mm -hmm. you.